Hello and thanks for tuning back in on instructions how to be cheap, really cheap, without paying anybody anything and getting the most for your dollar. It's come to my attention through experience and what other people have been telling me that people, individuals, are paying an exorbitantly high price to watch television, cable TV, satellite TV. Some people are paying two and three hundred dollars a month just to simply watch television. And I must say that the programming on television is not all that and it leaves much to be desired upon. So why pay out hundreds of dollars a month just to watch television? There is another way, and the cable companies are really trying to shut this thing down. But, under your nose, and through government regulation, now there is an alternate way of getting many of the programs that they show on cable television on free television. And right now, if you properly equipped yourself at home, like you have a satellite set up, have another type of setup, you can get these programs and you know how much you pay a month to receive them? Zero. Absolutely nothing. And I'm quite sure that price probably works out a little bit better for you than paying all these satellite and cable companies your hard earned money that you could be spending elsewhere. Now, I'm quite sure you're probably wondering how do I get in on this? Well, remember a few years ago when all the old television sets quit working and they went to a new digital format? Well, under the old format, which is called analog television, you could only get one channel per frequency allotment for TV. Under digital, the same channel that you've been watching for the different networks, that one particular channel now can be multiplexed, or by that I mean that many separate channels can fit in the space of one channel. Since this is the case, your local TV station, if you only had one station, can all of a sudden offer four different networks. If you had many different TV stations there, each of them can offer several different networks off of their signal. Then they could make available to you a lot of the optional programming that cable and satellite put on and this, that's the stuff that you're paying for. Many of the different networks and of course I don't know about the regulations there, I can't mention it, but you all know what's on cable TV. You can pick those up on satellite TV. If you have an old TV and you haven't converted to one of the new fangled flat screen things, you can go to uh, the big box stores, the discount stores out there, you know, the Wally World and the Target Me Now and all those types of things, and pick you up a digital converter. This will convert your old fashioned tube type television into something that will be able to pick up digital signals. Obviously, if you hadn't gotten one of these things, you're not going to be watching any TV. So, or you probably have been using your cable box to hook into your old fashioned TV, which, uh, the cable box was converting things back down to analog so that you can pay them for the service. Here with a digital converter, you can convert it by using a regular antenna and move the cable and satellite company out of the picture. You get basically the same service and not pay a bill at the end of the month. So if you're paying two and three hundred dollars a month, you know, a cable box or a DVD converter or a digital converter, one of those names out there, uh, the cost on it is about 30, 40 bucks. You missed the free giveaway when this was rolled out. The government had a coupon where you could send it in and get one for free. But since you missed that because you were paying the pay cable and satellite company, oh well, 
Now you have to buy one, but spend the 20 or 30 bucks, get your television hooked up, go buy you a decent antenna specifically optimized for digital that'll cost you about maybe about another twenty or thirty dollars but if you have an existing TV antenna or a big rooftop antenna still on your house hook it up to that it's capable of picking up those signals I know in Atlanta and I keep using Atlanta for an example but that's pretty much where I am uh, they went from five six seven eight channels to about fifty to 60 channels it depends on where you live but in Atlanta you can pick up roughly 65 or 70 channels of programming that's basically free basic cable service and it's good programming excellent programming they even have the shopping type channels on there for you late night shoppers out there all of this can be had for a nominal cost without paying the big cable and satellite companies your hard-earned money. So next time you go to one of these big box stores, go back into the audiovisual thing over to the side where they have the DVD players and all that, and look around for a DVD, or excuse me, digital converter. If you can't find it there, ask one of the store helps. If that doesn't work, go to one of the more dedicated big box electronic stores and ask somebody there they'll have it or if all else fails get online and do a Google search for it you might be able to find one on eBay real cheap or Amazon real cheap you have to wait for it to get there but once it gets there and you hook it up and mind you it hooks up just like your cable and satellite box does you will be having free television without paying anybody anything and trust me you'll enjoy it a whole lot better without getting a bill for it or you won't have to fret when you get home and turn on the TV and all you see is snow because the cable company cut you off because you hadn't paid your bill you know there's certain ways to handle things this is one way to move certain people who have tried to set themselves up to collect your money and make it a necessity for you to have things cut them out the picture anyway this is just a short talk on how you can avoid paying people your money and get free television free quality TV not some humdrum boring stuff out there but a uh, free quality TV in your home next time I'll talk to you about TV I'll talk to you about a way you can get free satellite TV with a miniature dish on your house and pick up many many more channels including foreign TV programming but that's for another talk. This is just to get you started. But remember, with the digital setup outside your house, and the other thing which I'm going to talk to you in the future about, about digital programming, you will be able to have so many channels, you will have so many choices, you won't know what to look at. Anyway, that's it for right now. And remember to like and share this video if you thought this information was helpful and saved you some money and hopefully enhanced your life and also remember in addition to sharing and liking I would appreciate it if you would go and highlight the top of the URL where you see this YouTube video playing where the HTTP double slash YouTube yada 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 up the top highlight it copy it and go to your Facebook uh, Twitter LinkedIn, any of the other pages which are social media, and share it with the people in your circle. Put up there in the title, look at how some guy on the internet or YouTube told me how I can get free cable-like TV. You can too. Click here to listen, and that will take them to this video, and you can share the wealth and show them how to do it too. There's no reason any of us should have to throw away our money on things that are easily obtainable for free. And this is completely legit, completely legal. We aren't hurting anybody here. We aren't taking away anything that is not really available to the public all along. Your government made this available. 
So take advantage. Trust me, you're paying for it through your taxes. So take advantage of it now. Anyway, that's enough for now. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.